What's up everyone, welcome to Clubit, my name is KB and today I'm gonna show you 8 new Android apps. They are awesome, they are cool and some of them are really really useful and I hope you're gonna enjoy all of them. So without doing delay, let's do this. So the first step in the list we have the Meteor and this is a internet speed tester. Not only that, first let's test our internet speed and after that I will talk more about this, what it can do. So let's start the test now first thing is pink and uh, it is giving a rating as you can see there in the bottom it is saying awesome so ping is really good at my network it's my network okay so download speed is poor as you can see it's you know over here in my country or in my connection it's really poor as you can see download speed is poor 1.9 mbps and uh, after that upload speed it's really really poor as you can see 0. mbps that means 100 kbps per second so it's poor <laughs> so that's how you know that how much speed you have in your internet and after that what this app can do is it will tell you which site and which app is really good with your internet or how it will perform as you can see here uh, if i open the youtube it will be poor it will uh, load really slow if i want to watch any video or you know etc things inside this even a facebook even a google map chrome they will be all poor <laughs> it means it will load up really poorly you know and if i use whatsapp then it will be okay and you can also add more apps and it will tell you how that app will perform your internet so this is a vinci and uh, this is a you know uh, photography ca a camera app and it has a lots of uh, you know presets of arts where you can select as you can see there are so many so i'm gonna select this one the ghost let's say it's new uh, preset so let it work and uh, as you can see ghost in the spell merge you will need a internet access as you can see this was the preset and it has turned into turned my photo into something like this and you can also select another preset something like this and it will work and uh, yeah you will need an internet connection to work and uh, yeah you can create cool as you can see this looks really amazing as you can see here this was or this was original and this one this is my favorite presets inside this the sunny as you can see here and you can also set you know set, do the settings like you know up and down and after that apply and there are more you can select from as you can see here there are so many so you can select all of these hero preset for example and yeah with this app you can create your own art of your photos and then share it to your friends on instagram facebook or twitter whatever you use so yeah this is just a photo which allow you to create your photos arts you know just amazing arts you can use any photos that you want and this is a lens launcher first we are not going to take a look at the settings first we're gonna look at the actual launcher you can also set it as default and this is the launcher is it does not have the home screen so you will not be able to add the widgets and etc things you will have only this drawer and you know the cool thing about this is as you can see this is a lens launcher so this is what it says this does the thing what it says this is a lens launcher and let's go to the settings and as you can see we can also change this uh, icon size distortion factor and uh, yeah so we can also do a few more settings let's take a look at the we made the icon bigger as you can see bigger but i think we're gonna go into the settings again and uh, the smaller looks cool it's around here and let's go back as you can see this looks perfect and uh, Go here and you can do a lot more settings inside this and you can also hide the app whichever app you don't want to show up in your drawer then you can just tap on that it will not show up in your drawer then if if you want to unhide just check that again and settings there are so many settings like you know uh, you can also download the icon packs from Google Play Store so you can select different icon packs if you want to and you can also set it as a default for now touch with home is my default you can also set it as default if you like it so this app is just you know cool looking app or cool looking launcher as you can see here <laughs> if you want to play with it with this and if you want to show off 
with your friends and etc you know it just looks really cool and this is a vpn super and uh, this is not a super vpn there is already a super vpn named app but this one is vpn super just opposite of that and this is newly launched vpn and this is one of my favorite vpn now on because uh, you know it has a really cool feature <laughs> not the whole kind of thing like you know what i'm saying is they in inside this vpn you can select lots of countries not only two not only three and lots of vpn have only two or three uh, countries to select from but inside this there are so many i haven't count it yet but as you can see there uh, ukraine united states united kingdom sweden singapore russia and you know there are so many countries you can select from and yeah this is all new vpn if you want to set this up what you have to do is just press on this icon and it will say vpn super resolving and you know it, it will try to configure that and as you can see instantly it has connected me to the vpn instantly as you can see here and uh, as you can see it shows that uh, check your ip address from here and it works just like the another vpns it's just simple as that and it is very fast as i as far as i know i have tested this it's been a one week i have been using this and it is really fast and if you want to shut down this or you want to close this hit on icon that again and it will close that and uh, yeah this is just amazing vpn for android if you have been looking for a good vpn then give it a shot it will not embarrass you i guarantee that and this is a mini info app uh, let me show you as you can see here panel app info of foreground app icon network let me show you the straight demo of this just enable this as you can see here it shows in my notification bar it so shows the speed of internet as you can see here and not only that as you can see here it shows the which app i'm running right now as you can see i'm gonna run the google chrome from here and it will say as you can see here how much of data it is consuming and how much of ram is taking and uh, if you tab on the icon as you can see here it takes you to the settings of that app if you feel uh, the app is taking lots of memory lots of data then you can uninstall easily quickly you know you just access the uh, as you can see here these kind of thing from here the information about internet information about the ram how much ram is that app using and you know it's just a, a small package of app which allow you to see the information about other apps and this is a mix pad too and uh, this is a you know music creation app or you can create it you know you just have to be a creative i'm not a musician and i don't know nothing about the music but if you want to play with music and if you want to uh, create your own music then you can try this out and it looks amazing and it is simple like you know i'm gonna select the drum here and uh, i'm gonna select the bass from here i'm gonna select the fx here as you can see the music is playing along and uh, you can also select the lead from here i don't like this lead i'm gonna select this one yeah this looks perfect or oh, this sounds perfect and after that you're gonna select the pads and you can also select the walks as you can see i have just created a masterpiece a music amazing music and you can also uh, you know if you want to sing along with this you can uh, choose this mic turn on then you know whatever i speak it will listen and hit on record button and it will start to record your song so that's how you can create your own song you know it will be original your own song if you want to create that okay so i'm not a huge as i said that i, I don't know nothing about the music but you know as you can see it just i created us awesome music to listen <laughs> i'm proud of myself and this is a learn to draw cartoons and uh, you know this app is especially for who want to learn how to draw the things and uh, also for the kids so as you can see here we have three options here draw coloring and my work so i haven't done anything yet so i'm gonna draw first i'm gonna learn drawing first okay so these are the things I can select the cartoon story, sea, sea world, forest story. I'm gonna go with the cartoon because since it, is, it says the cartoon thing. So I'm gonna select this. And which one should I draw? I think I'm gonna draw this one, the Goku. Because, you know, I know the Dragon Ball Z. So <laughs> I'm gonna draw the Goku. Now let's start. And, uh, you know, we have to draw over it, you know. 
like this now i'm gonna try to draw that and as you can see it is glowing as i'm drawing and you know my hands are perfect at drawing uh, you know when i was in school i had a drawing class so i'm very good at the drawing <laughs> i'm not saying that you know it's been a long time i haven't done but you know uh, i forgot simply i forgot as you can see here we're gonna draw the cartoon here we're gonna draw the cartoon here and as you can see, I have drawn the cartoon and now I can go with the coloring thing where I can do the coloring on this. So it's loading and let it load. And after that, I'm going to do some small learning because I'm not going to take you a long time. So I think uh, I'm going to make him a Super Saiyan since Super Saiyan has a, you know, you can also make a color black. <laughs> you know, I'm very bad at this so yeah you can do a lot more things inside this not only these cartoons if you don't like the cartoons you can also uh, try to draw the you know animals and etc things you know as you can see here these are the animals you can draw them and uh, yeah if you are into the you know drawing thing and you want to learn then this is very helpful you know it can teach you lots of things and the last one we have the internet speed meter as you can see this will give us a detail of how much data have been used in past hours or one whole day as you can see here why i downloaded this because i like to see the you know live monitoring like you know uh, floating widget go to the settings i forgot to mention that go to the settings and after that notification floating widget enable that and as you can see the internet speed is happening there and i'm gonna show you that it works just like charm as you can see i'm trying to browse the uh, uh, google and as you can see the speed it is telling that how much of speed it it is running at like you know download speed and upload speed so sometime i would like to see that so that's why i downloaded this if you want to if you also want to monitor that you can always use this app and yeah on, and you can also see how much of data you have used in past days as you can see 24th march 25 26 and as you can see how much of data i have been using from last uh, i think one month it can track one of one months of data for this video that's all guys hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe i will put link in the description for all of these to download download whichever you like the most or if you can then let me know in the comment section below which one you like the most and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.